something like not that. a common interview. It's not a common interview. Uh, just, sir, uh, just to okay. make. Okay, sir, I am Aga Santosh Anusha. Mm -hmm. I am born and brought up at Vishakhapatnam. My father is a ex serviceman. He served the Indian Navy. My mother is a housewife. I'm currently working as a uh, forest range officer in Vishakhapatnam itself. Okay. And I pursue my hobbies as uh, rock climbing and into adventure sports, sir. Okay. What kind of adventure sports? And I'd previously been in the previous notification. I'd be into the interview stage of APPSC. Okay. Okay. How's your experience there? What could be the drawback? Uh, it was great, sir. Like all of the uh, the board was uh, Vijay sir board. Uh, we had ma'am also, Sunita ma'am in it. So mm -hmm. everybody was impressed because mostly the questions were... Uh, then I was doing my uh, training at Himachal Pradesh. So basically the questions were from forest background. Okay. But I think uh, my score in the mains would not have been great because okay. interview really went on well. Okay. So that's how... All right. All right. So, so what is the meaning of your name, Anusha? Uh, it uh, defines to be a morning star. Morning star, okay. Could you elaborate on that? Uh, it is the time where we see a kind of a new uh, sunshine or where you actually see for new prospects in the life. So mm -hmm. it is uh, it is resembling a part of a nature where the morning star would be named Anusha in most of the family. So that's how it okay. is. Okay. So how do you justify yourself? With the name that you are also saying, how do you rate yourself? Yes, sir. I I am a very uh, this. Uh, I my as my name resembles my personality also because mm -hmm. I always see an opportunity. Uh, however, the uh, the defeats or the kind of uh, difficulties that I come across in the life, I always see the brighter side. There's uh, it's all also said that uh, always uh, there is a new sunshine after the dark period. So no. that's how. Uh, I do resemble with the name. Yeah, perfect, perfect. This sort of positive attitude is what is required. Whatever you are speaking, like uh, very good to see you. All right. Uh, as you have mentioned, your father is an ex navy officer. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Is a navy officer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Navy officer, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what is the significance of? Yes. Victory at Sea Monument, which was uh, stationed in Vishakhapatnam. Yes, sir. The monument was built as a part of 1971, uh, the Indo-Bangladesh, uh, where we had supported the Bangladeshi's independence movement. So since our uh, Vishakhapatnam was a coastal uh, the coastal area we were actually uh, being targeted at that point of time and we have been victorious against the uh, the other uh, parties at the war and we were successful and that is how we commemorated the victories as a victory moment monument at uh, Vishak buttons okay okay so i could also see one submarine which was uh, stationed on the seashore for yes, public sir. visit yes so sir. what was that Its name is Kursura Submarine. Yeah. I now understand. it has been converted. It has been uh, decommissioned and is being used as a tourist extraction attraction. Okay. How did it contribute to the Indian Navy? The submarine. Sir, as per my uh, yes, sir, as per my uh, literature, uh, this uh, this submarine has been into various commission projects of Indian Navy from the Eastern Naval Command. It has been far off seas to the uh, mainly the Malayan Peninsula and the Sri Lankan also uh, the activities that uh, Indian Navy wanted to uh, collaborate on with the different countries. It is a very important uh, uh, this uh, project because the submarine. Uh, itself is a very uh, uh, important uh, kind of uh, a carrier of the weapons on its surfaces. It will not be visible for the enemy radars. And mm -hmm. that is why it is very significant that Vishakhapatnam holds this uh, Kursara submarine as one of its tourist attractions where people also get to know about its importance through this okay. display, sir, public display. Okay. So what are your uh, views on steel plant being privatized? What is your take on it? Do you, the steel plant, basically, does it need to be privatized? Yes, sir. Uh, my opinion about the steel plant uh, being uh, 
uh, disinvestment yes it should go ahead with it sir because as per we see the reports of annual reports from the steel plant itself its its production has been declining in the recent past nevertheless the government should always take care of the needs of the employees and the surrounding population that are very well dependent as livelihood on that and for example giving some packages to the uh, already working serving a uh, uh, people or somebody who has been newly recruited can be given an alternate livelihood opportunities in the other government sectors or the psu sectors has to be taken care of before going into a disinvestment plans and moreover the kind of consensus building is very well required with all the stakeholders is what i would suggest sir okay, okay. so as uh, we have seen uh, visakhapatnam is also being regarded as one of the capital city of andhra pradesh do you think is yes, it a sir. good decision and in what way is it bringing changes to the city of dest yes sir first of all in the two aspects if i would discuss one it's a very very uh, immense potentiality of visakhapatnam being the port having the eastern naval command having the one of the most important prominence to the as it is called as jewel coast of india in terms of uh, the activities uh, that we have with the uh, southeast asian nations trading perspective also the maritime potential the coastal livelihood or the fisherman community that gives a lot of uh, food processing industries marine processing industries that have been established so this is a very important aspect that the government the current government has taken aspect because it comes under decentralization of the administration as well as giving impetus to all the regions as such to because we after bifurcation we were at a very loss at this time of bifurcation we have we were at a very loss it will help in the reducing the public debt of the state as well and making bring bring ap on the map of the india as a exporter destination or the business rich state okay. sir okay okay uh, there is also another uh, point of view that with the growth of it information technology and software industries in visakhapatnam yes sir is there any scope or potential for growth of it and software industry there and what measures can be taken to promote it yes sir uh, there's a lot of growth of this potential because way back in 2000s itself the hsbc call center has been established here and there on there was satyam then there was this wipro and currently even the tcs also holds a very rich potential uh, this pre, pre, in the premises of visakhapatnam it is catering to many of the bpo and the call center level jobs profiles as well as catering to the uh, different kind of software products establishments are also being done at present level so given this condition where this having a very pleasant climate the kind of uh, urbanized uh, this conglomeration of this visakhapatnam provides an opportunity for this it industry for to flourish in the uh, city of visakhapatnam sir so it's a very rich potential i would say okay okay so uh, could you recollect any famous buddhist sites which are present in your district yes sir we have this uh, uh, we have totlakonda which is uh, on the proximity of the ramakrishna beach only it's a very uh, prominent buddhist site we also have a neighboring it's a different district as well ankapalli but uh, bojanakonda and sajjalakonda uh, they, these are the theravada sects of the buddhism that have been established sir oh, oh. finally uh, any famous personalities who i gleaned from your teacher who has contributed immensely across uh, various fields and uh, yes sir there's one famous personality he is also famous for the tollywood or the telugu industry also shri shri uh, garu who is also called as shri rangam shrinivas rao garu he hails from the city of visakhapatnam it's a proud moment for all of our uh, district people sir he he has been given so much importance to the kind of downtrodden people to emancipate them from the shackles of the poverty to empower them to make them understand the conditions at that point of time and his works have also been reflected in akal raja movie of the telugu industry sir oh. all right uh, all right anusha like uh, yes whatever discussions we have had we are confining ourselves to uh, only Two components based on your name and your place of birth. Uh, subsequent discussions on your detailed application form will happen tomorrow day after tomorrow coming days. 
before you face the expert panel interview, as you are pretty much confident you have gone through this process earlier, so there is uh, nothing much that we could provide you because your body language, your verbal communication, your clarity of thought, uh, your precise and exact expression to whatever questions that I have been asking you, and everything is mm -hmm. up to the mark. Nothing, uh, no remarks that I could uh, give you to work on with respect to today's session. I'll I'll rate uh, ten out of ten yeah. for the confidence that you you're you. carrying and everything. So, so with the rest of the sessions, the knowledge, whatever knowledge you have acquired, your clarity of thought and expression is uh, very perfect. Like this. Everything you're not. Your communication skills are good. You're simply talking, addressing the point, and everything is perfect. So yes. keep it up. Maintain this momentum. Uh, I hope this time you'll definitely sail to the stage. All the best. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Thank you.